So yo, I was making a new video just so I could like, uh, you know, I'm getting I'm getting ready I'm getting my body prepared for the new Man of Steel movie coming out, and about I hope to have um I don't have a gym membership anymore to uh, Bally's I used to go to the gym, and uh, that's why I still look pretty decent. But as you can see, I've shaved. And I'm going to prepare myself mentally and physically to go see the new Superman movie. I didn't see Superman Returns in theaters, but despite having all that stuff go on back then, I didn't actually see it. You know, I boot like that shit. Because I was so adamant to de destroy the film. But, uh, uh, let that, let that, let that be what it may. Um, I watch, you know, I religiously devote myself to the film now. And I certainly hope that I know I know I know I don't even have to hope I know that Man of Steel is not going to be as good as Superman Returns, you know, because it's just not. I don't think they don't have the passion that Brian Singer brought to that project. You know, when you put that much passion into something, there's no stopping it from being great. This Man of Steel movie is going to be a very corporate, uh, thrown together film. And that's it, you know, it's just, it's, it's like, we have a bunch of people saying, Superman Returns didn't have enough action, uh, enough, all, all kinds of shit, so, what they're gonna do, you know how it is, um, they're just gonna, you know, try to make it seem like it's the real, better Superman film, but they remove the underpants, and, you know, some, a lot of stuff just looks ridiculous, and I don't like, I really seriously do not like, that, they're bringing in the, you know, Zod and them. It's like they couldn't figure out that... It's funny, you know, why why can't they put more... Why can't they bring someone else in? And he's got a bunch of other... He's got Luther. He's got so many others. And it looks like a big epic film. They're going to spend a lot of money on it. And uh, all that shit. But ultimately, it's going to just be a big dumb action movie. Michael Bay light, because, you know, that guy, Zack Snyder, is just a Michael Bay, you know, douche kind of guy, <clears throat> so, I, I'm gonna just, you know, it's gonna go, it's gonna, it's gonna come out, it's gonna, you know, fuck around for a while, and I'm gonna go check it out, I'm gonna go check it out, I'm really looking forward to, though, like, um, like, the new, uh, I don't really care for the new Star Trek. What else is coming up besides Superman I'm looking forward to? Uh, it's hard to say. I, I haven't really looked into this stuff much. Hold on. A lot of homos online these days. I mean, little 12 year old kid is going around saying, I'm gay. That's not something to go saying and then freely. I don't know what's going on with kids these days. Back in my day, you, you, you word one that you was a homo, your ass is fucked. You're going to get, you know, not just fucked, but, you know, you're going to get hurt. You know? Like, that's all kids did. That's the biggest insult they had, the best insult they could come up with. You're gay, dude. You know? Welcome to New York. It's a big melting pot over here. You know, I was go, I was, uh... I was going to go and walking around Manhattan one night, you know, Manhattan's fucked up, man, and, you know, a bunch of gay dudes were, were, were hanging out, there's a gay club down there, you can go to a club exclusively for gay people in Manhattan, and New York's a great place for gay people, you know, it really is, I, you know, you can openly be gay, no one's going to, people are going to hate you, but they're not going to talk to you, they're not going to touch you. So you can do it here, over in some redneck town. I'm very, I'm guessing that they would actually start something. If you black and you walking around and mind your own business, they're gonna start something with you. And if you gay and you walking around and mind your own business, they're gonna definitely start something with you. You know. Uh, I don't know. I've never actually been with a girl, so I don't really, you know, have like. I know I like girls. It's just that. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to get married, have a kid, and then down the line, 
you're saying, I'm not satisfied with this. I'm going to go with a dude. And that's what happens sometimes. A guy gets with a fucking girl he loves in college. And then down the line, he has a kid, everything. And then he says, I'm fag. I can't, I can't. I've always been. I just, you know. And I'm open to things, you know. I'm open to, you know. You know, as you can see, I'm very clean. I like to, I like to keep myself, you know. I can't, I can't live my life if I'm like not in good shape, you know, I gotta be physically fit, and I've gotta have a clean cut face, because I know, like, my sister was trying to tell me, oh, you know, she's been with dudes who've had a lot of acne problems, so, it's, you know, whatever, she's still, still a girl, and I'm just telling her, no, I don't do that, that's not me, I like to have things nice, you know, if it's not... Or fis, you know, the, the the word, a term someone used once is fiskanky. You know, I don't like to be fiskanky, as they say in the club. You know, I'll be, I'm gonna do it one day. You're gonna see it. I might even put it on YouTube. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get pimped out, and I'm gonna go into a club looking like fucking Johnny Depp, cause I'm part white, so I can roll like that, and. It's going to be what it is. I mean, give it up to the girls on YouTube. I got to really give them a shout out. Y'all, y'all are giving it, y'all are giving us a great, great, great life. You know, nobody shows, I mean, we all show appreciation to girls booty shaking on YouTube, but, you know, that's just what a man should do. But I'm going to say very much thank you. You don't have to do it. You know, you could have just not. It's, you know, showing off that great body, you you know, your way of, but you're a grown woman, you shouldn't be doing that, really, but, you know, many kids are watching YouTube, but, but that doesn't matter, you know, we can, we can, you know, what a guy wants to see, you shake your booty, that's all that matters, and I'm, you know, thank you, because, like, you know, that makes me happy, at the end of the day, that's all that fucking matters. Anyway, yeah, the new Star Wars stuff's coming out. Um, uh, I was thinking about it a minute ago. You know, what the fuck would it be like to, like, you know, my my cousin called me before I went into the military. And she's like, that's my daughter over there. I'm like, what the fuck? You know? Cause I didn't, I didn't. She, I knew her back in high school days and shit. Now she's got a kid, you know. So I'm thinking, what the fuck? What is, what? You know, I, that really blew me off my my seat. I was like, why do you have a kid now? You know, how does one go from just? I knew her in high school, you know. I was I was going to high school, same as her. And uh, you know, the thought didn't even occur to me that this person could actually create another human being. It didn't even make sense to me at the time, but yeah, you know, I wouldn't, I, I, I get rid of high school altogether and just, you know, but that's what I, I don't know. I just, I just went through it because I thought it was the right thing to do, and then after that, this dude was like this really corporate dude in a suit was saying, if you can go through four years of high school, why can't you go through four years of college? And he was having a debate with me over my reasons for not wanting to go to college, you know, so he was trying to convince me to go to college, because if I can get through four years of high school without getting some pussy, why can't I go to college and go through four years of college without getting pussy, thing I'm thinking, why you give a fuck, I know blacks don't graduate college, la 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 la, I know, but I'm got I, I I I'm there's so much that I you know there's so much more complexity to the matter than simply oh if you went through four years of high school you can go through four years of college and what the hell do you care anyway it's my life's none of your fucking business and and you know college is expensive and my ultimate goal it, it will not have been accomplished regardless you go to school and you think it's cool and I, you know. It's just, it's just, it's just way ridiculous.
you know, how can, how can I go to class with a bunch of people who are older than me and fucking and having a good time? How does that make sense to you? You know, oh, let me go to class and do my homework and shit. And that guy over that girl over there, all these people, they go back to their dorm and they fuck. And then it, I'm the ones actually working on my fucking essays and shit. Granted, it is beneficial. I've met people with degrees and they're smart cookies. And they're just like, they're smart and they're stupid at the same time. That's the problem, you know. The thing is that having that degree gives these these people this sense of being, in, you know, in per perfect. And then, of course, when they make a mistake, they don't even acknowledge it. They're like, oh, well, I have my degree. I can't be wrong, you know. It's happened. She's sitting there, and she's she, she, she fucks up. And, like, I'm in the plane. I've been, I tell her, I've been doing this job for three years. So I know my shit. So we're in the plane, and she's bossing me around. She's got her degree. She's bossing me around. She's been doing the job for a month. A fucking month. She's bossing me around. I've been doing the job for three years. She's got her degree. She deserves to tell me what to do. So I'm working there, and I'm like, I tell her to turn on the lights in the plane so that I can fucking see what I'm doing. And then uh, she goes and says, the lights might be under the plane. I go over there and I turn on the fucking lights. <laughs> fucking bitch. She didn't even ask me where the lights were. She, she does that every single day. Every single day we work together. She's like, I'm smarter than you. You can't possibly know what you're doing. So I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm, not, a, I'm not on the side of college. I'm just not. If you know your job. And you know it well, and you make your money. That's all that matters. You don't have to go get a liberal arts degree and know, you know, read all these different books about different subjects. I know I'm preaching to the wrong people. They're not gonna care. Everybody's like college is everything, and it does. It's it's good. You know, she was impressive. She is smart. She's very impressive. I was impressed by her fucking quick wit. She was just quick. You know. That's the kind of thing that like like uh, that's annoying about very smart people. They just sit there and they oh they get they, they predict what you're going to say and they're just way ahead of you mentally. So that's annoying as hell. But you can't be all arrogant and shit and and and, and expect everybody to you know suck your dick just because you have have a summa cum laude advanced level degree. And then of course you you. You, you stupidly go and do a job that you have no business doing, and then you go and you tell the people who've been doing the job for so long that you, you know, just it's just not right. You know, if you get your degree in a certain field and you know everything about that shit, then you are the expert in that level. You can't go down and tell somebody who is way, way, way below you but who has some expert level knowledge of their particular profession and then talk down to them as if they don't know shit about their job. You know, I couldn't, I, you know, I can't believe that. You know, there is such a thing as overqualified. And if you are super smart, you have no business. You shouldn't be wasting your time doing a job that is a billion levels beneath you. You know what I mean? But that's what some people do. They go get a freaking advanced super level degree and then they go be a garbage man. And it's just ridiculous. I don't know what's up with that. But like for me personally, you know, um that's the thing he was trying to say, you know, you're a smart chap. You definitely could uh get a college degree. Why would you want to go and work entry level jobs? you know cuz they're bad entry level jobs are really shitty pay a lot of hard work janitor garbage man ramp agent whereas you could be an engineer uh any other thing a billion other things well 
Hell, he has a point. Well, I want I want to fuck a girl first, you know. Um, I don't know about you. That's the thing that's like, oh, what the hell? Because it's like I think like half of the people that work at these fucking corporations are homos or something. I don't know how you can tell another dude to overlook girls and say, okay, go find a job and make money. Can't do that. Bitches first, then work. That's the way it's supposed to work. Bitches first, then work. You know? Think about it. Bitches first, then work. You know? I'll do any job. I ain't scared of nothing. You know? People might say, oh, you know, your fucking reputation online is no good no more. That don't bother me. I'm a man. I can handle it. You know? I got two, I got a dick and balls and two hands. I want to go out there, work my money and get pussy. That's what men do. So, I wouldn't like, oh my God, I'm losing my TSA job. I'm out. I'm fucked. I didn't think that. Because this is my world. You know, I run this bitch. This is a man's world. If I want to go make my money, I could do a lot of things. I could be a car mechanic. I know a shitload about cars after I own my Taurus. I can, I can change the oil. I can wash cars. I know how to make money. Money's not a fucking object to me. I can get it. It's nothing hard. The problem is really what you want to do. What is it you are interested in? Me, it's aviation. You know, hands down. I've worked alongside pilots. You know, they, 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 they really cool people. You know, I've sit, I've, I've flown a lot of Delta flights, and it's pretty. You know, they're not like in the movies when you hear a lot of pilots are mad like. It seems like they woke up on the wrong side of the bed that day, kind of thing. They 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 mad tired and they just like, up oh, we're going down to Florida today. All right, everybody relax and they just <laughs> and fly it. You know, it's so routine though. Uh huh. Oh, anyway, like I said, uh, we are we are going places man I can't wait to see the Man of Steel movie because like I don't know I got a feeling I got it is I hope it's good but at the same time it might not be because Superman Returns exists you know I'm I, I feel like shit because I, I bash Superman Returns so much you know that movie did not deserve that I mean, it's really for the kids, you know. I was at work at Toys R Us, and, you know, I see myself through the eyes of the kids going to the store to buy toys. Because that's that's what I was like, you know. When you're a kid, everything's so awesome and cool. So that's the, that's what I'm trying to, to say, is like, yeah, you might not like Superman not having underpants, but a little boy... I don't care about little girls. Girls can go screw themselves. But a little boy will go see Superman and be like, oh, yeah, Superman. That's what I like to see. Fucking job I got to get, though. I mean, I'm on, I'm on, I'm under review at Delta. Again, you know, um, I very much hope they call me in the next couple of months because... What what what's the wrong what's the wrong thing about that? I, actually, I'm gonna get in contact with some of the people that I used to work with there, and see what's up. You know, they might be able to say, okay, they put a good word in for you, because I might just fuck it. I'm gonna go down to Delta, JFK, and El Guardia, and talk to a manager. I don't know. They don't like you. They don't like doing things outside of the normal procedures. They like to have things done exact, you know, they're military, very military. If it's not done right, your fault your plane's falling out of the sky and you're losing money. Are they worried about losing the passengers or the people that die beneath the aircraft when it falls? No. 
They're worried about the money. A lot of money to be made. This is money being pushed through a big tube into your bank account. And if you don't fly that plan, you don't make that money. And that's the real concern there. Hot pockets. Superman. I don't know what else to, to look for here. Uh, I don't. I don't like this GI Joe movie. It's not looking too good. Yeah. Die Hard. That's coming out very soon. I'm gonna check it out. Um. I, yeah. What's his name? Teddy Rubskin has recently reviewed Die Hard. And uh, he's right. I watched Live Free or Die Hard way back in the day, 2000 something, and I thought that movie was just just not cutting it, man. This is not Die Hard, you know. It's just an action movie, throwaway action movie that could have starred Arnold Schwarzenegger or any other beefed up guy, and that's it. Die Hard is supposed to be something unique and interesting more so it's the it's really the it's really it's like its own genre of of of, of movie making you know there are a lot of action movies that are like die hard but die hard stands alone you know what i mean so to come out with a die hard movie and it's just bruce willis and his mate it's it's supposed to be John McClane, Teddy Rubskin's right. John McClane is a guy who's just minding his own business, and then because he's a good guy, steps up to the plate and takes charge and does the right thing and fights the bad guys. Not because he's Superman. That's the point. So... Hopefully they find a way to get it back on track with this one. Although this one looks like it's pretty much following the lead of Live Free, which sucks. But it should be John McClane going out to get a hamburger at McDonald's, and then some jackass comes in and 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 uh, starts shit, and then he fights them. That's it. That's what it should be. That's what Die Hard's all about: an ordinary man in extraordinary situations, who somehow, some way, becomes a hero. Through his own determination to succeed and defeat, you know, the, the antagonist. I don't know how they're gonna make this one make any sense in connection with the other one. It is already a stretch that he had. He went to an airport and suddenly ended up having to deal with uh, the same stuff, terrorism. So it's gonna be even even more. It is even. It wasn't much of a stretch the third time around because then it was revenge. He was going. He was dealing with. It, it, um, he was just dealing with the the backlash of the first movie, so that one made more sense. The third film has fuck all to do with the first three Die Hard movies, so that makes it even worse, you know. Um, and the fourth one, I don't think they're going to have it make much sense in regards to its connection to the others. But I hope they bring back the, somebody. They bring back Al Powell, they bring back the dude from the car or something, so that it has that reason for being, ex instead of it's just diehard and named only, it has has some sort of, sort of, it has some sort of, like, callback to the original. Then we can make, you know, make it have, because I'm like, if we are diehard, it's a good action movie. I'm not going to say it's just terrible and that's it. It's just that it's not diehard. That's all I got to say about that. All right. I'm watching uh, right now, if you're wondering, this uh, Amber Sin girl. She's uh, she's apparently enjoys sticking things in her ass and fingering her pussy at the same time. So it's a DP video. And uh, it's pretty good. You ever you ever look at a titty and just that's think, ah, I mean. oh, boy, I want to suck on that. That's how you know you're not gay, you know. I sometimes wonder, am I a faggot? I don't know, but I, you know, 
when you when when you when you experiment when you get with your orgasms and shit, uh, you know they say to massage the prostate through the butthole. So that's what I did. You know, I tried it out, and I said, and I kind I think I, I think I might have been a little gay because of it, but it it it's like you know, I I, I it, it it was just you know something to do. It doesn't mean you're gay. I hope not anyway. I mean, sometimes I think about it, you know. But you know, when I look at a bitch, it's she looks delicious. You know, titties look tasty and stuff. Definitely want to fuck that girl. There's nothing wrong with porn. There's nothing wrong with seeing a girl naked. Everybody should just shut up about that fucking shit. It's all part of human nature. You know, we were always naked. We were fucking. The reason we have all this nudity now is because we want to go back to that. Our genetics instincts are telling us we should shed our clothes and go back to being like the animals we once were. And that's precisely what we're doing. You know, the human nature is not being stopped. It's only getting stronger the more we try to repress it. Suppress it. Thank God for those girls, man. I, you know, I've, I've studied girls for quite a while, and uh, I'm hoping that I understand them a lot more now. You know, they're they're very uh, somewhat open to being, you know, sexy. Some girls just want sex. Some girls actually want to start a family. So you have to really find a girl who is, you know, for me anyway. I just want a slutty bitch. And I can fuck all over the room, shit like that. That's what I want. I don't want to start no family. I don't want no kid. You know, I can't even imagine it. It doesn't. It's like, it's just like wow to me. I don't even know where to begin with that. So you can you can in, you can insinuate as much as humanly possible that I'm gonna get a girl pregnant. Anybody can get a girl pregnant. That's that's not a problem. Fucking somebody's giving birth right now. It's like that's what's going on. But you know, to cross the bridge is all I want to do right now. It's not about pregnancy. It's about I want to fucking feel a titty. I want to squeeze an ass cheek. I want all that shit before I get. 80 years old, you know, I'm going to die one day, and uh, I don't I don't want to die, but, you know, it's going to happen, it's going to be walking, sitting down, reading a book, and you're going to be dead after that, uh, that's depressing, but I have a lot I want to do. And people don't understand it. People are saying you're a bad guy, this and that. You can say whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. All I know is that this earth is limited in its potential lifespan. Right now, it's only about a billion odd years. And the further, 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 we try to understand the workings of the universe and all these big time things. We may we very much may figure out how we can perpetuate our species beyond its inevitable end at the hands of the sun exploding in a couple billion years. So you know, there's all these there's all these I've seen I've seen I've studied astronomy all of my life. I know what the Air Force uh has has the Air Force is planning all kinds of things, you know. The military kills people, shit like that. But the, the 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 real goal, we're all gonna die. Who cares about killing people? Fuck that shit. We're all dead. What what we what we're supposed to do? What is our imperative? What is our true mission? Is to survive as a species. You know. I believe in God. I'm a man of God. But he's not gonna come down and keep the sun alive another couple billion years. We have to get off this rock. And I've always known this. If there's one thing I can take from Bill Nye, the science guy, or, who, or whatever, 
It's that he told us the truth. Somebody told us the truth. It was, I was watching something on PBS, and there was a, there was a, they 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 completely detailed how this planet is doomed. And I was a child, so thank you for 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 letting us know that there is something that needs to be done, and uh, I do I, I think I can do it. You know. I think I can take the time out of my life and maybe put a dent into the big uh, complex, you know, thoughts on how we can survive as a species. It says, I, I don't want to die. and You want to die? Nobody does. And if you're smart enough, you should be working on how to figure out all these, you know, how the universe is going to go down, you know. All this porn and stuff, this is all women trying to continue their own lifespan you know and that's fine but the thing is the thing I, I, I you know I know is that you know kids 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 you can have 10 million of them but this planet is doomed so the only thing we can do as a species and thank God that we know this is try to find another earth or we can terraform Mars the thing they might do is they might this is a radical uh, theory, but they're going to possibly take an asteroid and use a rocket to uh, move it into orbit around Mars so that the planet, I think, moves closer to the sun or something like that, farther from the sun. And then, you know, the over time, the uh, Mars itself will become more like Earth and uh, then we can move there. Well, what the fuck does that matter? Because the sun's going to explode, so that doesn't matter. We shouldn't terraform Mars. I love that we're finding more and more uh, planets out there that are habitable. That's really good. And I'm certainly, you know, very, very much on the side of finding a way off this planet. And the fucked up thing is that our lifespans don't fucking matter. None of us are going to live long enough to see the day to come when uh, we will shoot rockets off and fly to another planet to so, so hopefully survive. You know, what a world we're living, what, what a world we're leaving behind for kids. You know, a little kid's gonna be like, "What the fuck was going on back in 2013?" and so on, and then he's gonna see tons and tons of anal porn. Uh, He's going to see all kinds of silly crap. I don't know, a bunch of douchey people. Um, probably going to see my videos. And, uh, what, all manners of nonsense. And that's all. You know, that's all she wrote, my friend. <sighs> what a history, you know. There are people out there trying to make the world a very clean and, uh, civilized place for children to enjoy and uh, experience and that's good hopefully this hopefully the child is still something that kids can uh, enjoy because mine sucked only thing that was good about it was uh, movies and cartoons that's it I was fucking just you know school sucked came home enjoyed Disney cartoons Ultimately, the internet became a, another safe haven, and that too has been destroyed. So, yeah, you know, now I'm like, you know, what, when, when do I get pussy? Because I did what I was told to do. I stayed away from girls. That's what you're told in the 90s. Don't go near girls. You're a bad guy if you go near girls. And now I am like, what, what, what am I supposed to do? You know what? A, what a pussy at? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the girls are. Anyway, never mind that. 
if anybody wants flight privilege, when I'm back at Delta, I'm thinking I'll just make that my career and die doing it. Who cares? So, you know, um, just hit me up. I'll give you a buddy pass, and you can fly to Hawaii. Who gonna care? You know? Just, 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 you know, I'm here for you. You know? All right.